Troy saw is. this pompous TV show where they were interviewing these like surprisingly intelligent people, like this bartender in Mensa and such. And <laughs> um, <laughs> he said that if the IQ spread between you and the guy you're talking to is more than 30 points, you have a difficulty even communicating. You know, they just, yes, yeah. yes, that's a well, that's a very well established. It's it's a it's a standard deviation. If somebody's more than a standard deviation in IQ away from you, um, you you kind of talk past each other. So every so often, I'll try to get help from like a Home Depot employee to help me choose a roofing nailer. And Are you calling yourself clever? Are you saying I, you're too clever to deal with him? I I don't deal with it well. Why is it why is it so <laughs> why is it so bad to admit that 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 you find yourself to be of it? Oh, least it's, some... it's it's not. I, mean, it, I I consider it a statement of fact, but I just knew that I, it would make you squirm slightly. <laughs> no, it doesn't make me squirm. Because, You're a dick. Because... <laughs> I often I like have a you. hard time communicating with people. No, I think, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't maybe I'm the one. Anybody, because I'm that far up. <laughs> uh, I always just assumed I was a standard deviation below everyone, and that's what the issue was. No, there are certain uh, people that that sure. I, I feel like every word that comes out of your mouth is just useless. Like you're just full of cliches and and like loaded up responses. Like you have no thought in your own head. You're just yeah. It takes what one to think. know one. Yeah, you're just trying to fill. You're just filling airtime like like some shitty radio DJ. Like I, I the guy that works for me, I, I keep like one of those talking. Those I guess you're right. Six of one, half dozen of another. People just talk garbage. Let's leave the dogs lie. Hours. <laughs> No, go ahead, Kyle. Tell us about Josh again. I love All right, this. All so, right, so 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 this Josh guy. Now let me preface this by saying, very good guy. Like at the core, is this the employee guy. Yes, it is. Look, yes, it is. It's a um, he does manual on. labor for me, um, and. He's a he's genuinely a, a kind, nice guy, honest guy, um, all that stuff. But he's got to be at least one standard deviation below myself, um, mm -hmm. which puts I, I figure at least I got a hundred IQ, right? I took an IQ test one time. I did fairly well, I, although it, I was get? a child, and apparently child I IQ on is or a real one. A real one. I took a real one on the child. <laughs> but apparently, child IQ and adult IQ is different, and the and the test you take as a child is irrelevant. Yeah, it's completely because it's it's probably changed, it changes whisk, after puberty. Yeah. The Weschler yeah. so, intelligence scale for children. But this guy, let, let's just get, say I'm a hundred, so we don't offend anyone. This guy's got to be seventy, right? Because I can't fucking. He's so dim. He's so dim that he doesn't have an original thought in his head, and it's nothing but cliches and preloaded responses. And his number one response to anything I say, whether it's interesting or not, is "Oh Lord," <laughs> like it's just <laughs> exasperation at whatever I say. That's uh, that, that's his his response to it. And sometimes sometimes what I say isn't even that interesting. Like like maybe I said, yeah, there were five thousand people that died yesterday. That'd be a good time for him to go, oh lord. But I'll say something like, yeah, I got some new sneakers, broke a shoelace. Oh lord, that's all he's got. He's just got no conversation. So like I'll, I one spend of those all... people where they're talking to buy themselves time to process what you're saying, but there's nothing really coming out. I, I have spent all day with this guy four days in a row now, three, I guess, three or four days in a row, and I haven't had an intelligent thought come out of this guy yet. He couldn't, he couldn't multiply 48 by 2.5 today when we needed to figure up how much I owed the gentleman for some, some stuff I bought. I, I bought 50 bales of hay, and they're $2.50 a piece, and we were too short, so it's 48 times 2.5, and I'm just like, it's $120, man. It's $120. Well, oh, Lord, let me figure this out. <laughs> Really? My abacus. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I sometimes um. Oh sometimes, shit! These beads always confusing me. <laughs> I sometimes have trouble. Um, I in my job I come into contact with ridiculously smart people quite often. So when I talk about particularly the women in tech stuff, then sometimes I'll get like PhD students write to me, or I'll get uh, fam uh, very fam famous computer programmers or very famous, whatever, you know, they'll write to me privately and they'll say, I can't say anything in public, but I love you. Um, say, yes, yes, I know. Uh, and then we'll get into a conversation. I feel like the stupid one in these conversations, you know. I feel like, because they're, they're, they're analyzing and interpreting the world at a level of such kind of rapid, abs rapid and dense abstraction, you know. There are so many ideas in every sentence in their email that I kind of have to, like, just wait a minute let me unpack that and and then i just like by the time i've got like one paragraph into the email i'm kind of like do you know what i'm actually not really equipped to communicate with you it's wonderful <laughs> speaking to someone who's more intelligent than you are i i went um but it's only it's only good if they're a bit more intelligent not if they're like standard deviation <laughs> intelligent because otherwise you just, just 
it just too much work to try to meet in the middle. Every, every time I, I find myself in that situation when I'm with someone who's just much, much more knowledgeable on me, if not on all topics, at least on one topic or another. I, I was hanging out with a chemist uh, uh, recently, and he just knew so much about chemistry. It was just fascinating to hear him talk about this stuff and to talk about, oh, yeah, you do this and it's chlorate. You do this and it's chloride, and now you're dead. You do this and it's this and you do that and it's that and you're dead again. And he's just like going through all this chemistry stuff, dealing with explosives and flammable stuff and how to how to make, you know, gunpowder in the lab and all this stuff. And I was fascinated. I, I like I made a friend instantly. And one day I was like, me and you are going to be tight from now on. I want your number. Like, like I, I love speaking to people who are let, let's just drop the more intelligent thing and say much more knowledgeable about uh, anything. I like hearing people talk who are experts in a field and, like, and trying to oh. learn from them. I think I like that's a better doers. way to put it. I like doers. Yeah. I fucking love doers. Um, you can be smart, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I could talk about smart. But um, like uh, the guys from HK, right? You know, um, help me with their names. So HK bad. Army, Mr. H, they, they call him. Okay. Big mustachioed motherfucker. Big mustachioed guy. If you were to meet him, you might think that he hadn't made much of himself, but he did. What, what is this? Um, so um, HK, so, they exist. Do you want to, why don't you explain it, Kyle? They'd probably do well. So uh, they're in the paintball industry, um, and they started out small with uh, building kind of a following. They kind, it was kind of, uh, and they, they got into merchandising, and uh, they film a lot of events, and now HK is a, is a paintball brand. It started out with stickers and okay. little, okay. little, hat, little uh, sweatbands and shit like that, and now it's a whole thing where they've got multiple products, and they're making tons of You can buy, like, the guns and the shields, and they have their own parts. Guns, I, shields, I, lots of clothing, hoppers they're getting into. Uh, like, it started with things that required very little engineering. And it's expanded into things that might be more complicated to make, like the feeding mechanism for paintballs and stuff. Okay. And, um, uh, yeah, we and don't have that around here. Okay. Um, anyway, these guys are like doers. You know, they'll, they'll fly out to Vietnam and talk to clothing manufacturers. And, you know, they like, oh, this fabric needs to be durable in a way that you might not in, 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 encounter every day. So, they, you know, who makes military clothing? And they just make it happen. And that kind of guy really, really blows me away. Like, that is neat to me. Yeah, I'm so always impressed hustle. by your a little hustle. Uh, I'm always of... impressed because I, li I live, um, I live and work <clears throat> in a world of talking mm. and thinking and writing, and I'm always impressed by people who are like actually building something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've talked about this before, but I really have a hard time putting a finger on how smart I am. There's a, there's some evidence that I'm above average, right? Like I, I have. Um, it's a douchebaggery. Forgive me for this. Uh, I have three degrees. I have two business undergrads and a master's in engineering. Um, multimillionaire, if that means anything. Um, I don't know. Dancing champion. Like there are some things that would indicate that I'm kind of cool. And then That's there's the natural third. Dancing <laughs> champion in that YouTube contest. It's, it's, I prefer award-winning dancer. Award -winning dancer. Yeah, yeah. award-winning dancer. Thank you. Because then it sounds exactly like you want a Tony or something. <laughs> award-winning dancer. And then there's other stuff. Like I, I will just not remember why I banned someone on my Minecraft server yesterday. And, and like my staff, they all remember. They all know. And I'll be like, hey, this guy, you know, like I'll, I'll list off an IGN. Like, what do I know him for? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, he's the guy you had this experience with. Uh, actors' names, I am dreadful. Dreadful. It's like Arguably a, the worst person I've ever met. It's it's, I, I'm not convinced that it's not a bit. I'm honestly not. I'm, I'm convinced that you pretend to not know people's names for a bit. I'm it's arguably retarded wrong. with regards to people's names. Um there, there, I mean, I, I could point to say like, hey, I'm probably a standard deviation above average and I could make a compelling case for the opposite. There's this, but there's a thing, isn't there? Um, lots of smart people that like, you know, have those various different, you know, there's face blindness and there's name blindness and that's actually a thing. And lots of very smart people have the name blindness. Directions. So you'll often find, sorry? It, it directions. It, it, if, if you gave me driving directions that involve more than two or three turns, I'd probably stop one. paying attention. And, I think you know. I think it's yeah. a smart person thing because I, I mean I know um, I know a, um, an astro no not astro no theoretical physicist who's doing a PhD. I have to remind him who I am every time we meet, and he's known me for six years. He cannot find his way anywhere. He like struggles to wash himself, um, like or just to remember, like to bother to do it. Um, totally useless. Can't remember anything, but. He absolutely, is on the autism spectrum. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah that seems maybe that's just maybe you just have like a, a slightly less severe version of that. Yeah, it could be. I don't could know. Be. Which would be an I indicator. I just know tool. that next episode, 
of this podcast, he's going to refer back to how good the episode with Marco Yellow Cloud was. <laughs> no one's going to know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> like, I have no idea. <laughs> Completely forget it. Yeah, your last name, for example, I... I would look at it, get maybe three letters in, and then freestyle the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like, yeah, yeah Milo, I mean, yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've been doing the same thing for 30 years. You know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you know, it sound like a French, uh, French baked good or something. Like, yeah, Napoli, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I, um, well, you know, when you're on the phone to the water company, like, can you spell your surname? Nope. <laughs> 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 I had to get a credit card out, you know, and read it out. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. quite that bad, but almost. Just a lot of vowels. Just put it together. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that. And then if I'm drunk, I, I put like two P's where there's only one P, and two L's where there's only one L, and I miss a U. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I spell it wrong all the time. I'm logging into stuff online. I'm locking myself out of accounts. I'm not going to give you shit anymore, Woody. This guy can't spell his fucking name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not easy, but it is yours. <laughs> Do you know it's, 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 there were always stories in the um, there were all these stories in the British press, and I don't know if this was ever true, but you know, like British, the, the Brits love kind of like oh, Americans are stupid news stories, um, and there, there was this rash of um, Florida man. of stories in the British press about how you uh, you got points on an American exam paper for writing your own name correctly, and I was sitting there thinking, ain't that easy? <laughs> <laughs> that's especially the SAT, some of the African Americans. Here. They it, those names. Oh, like Very Nuku and and some of the surn- I mean, some of the surnames are just, you know. You, I mean, how the fuck do you spell that? <laughs> the on the SAT, it's an American standardized test. You probably know of it. Uh, yeah. If you get questions wrong, they they take away points. So to get you to, I guess, never having a negative score, they start you at two hundred, and then in theory, if you got every question wrong, you'd get a zero. So that's what happened. Like some idiot British journalist just made this shit up. It's what it sounds um, like to me. Because yeah. he didn't understand how the SATs work. Uh, and he's like, oh, you get 200 right. points, like, just for showing up. That happens um, a lot. You, but, do you remember the old, the old story they always tell about how the, um, NASA spent a couple million dollars build, building the pen that would work in zero gravity, meanwhile mm-hmm. the Russians used a pencil? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's so right. I guess I got some clarification that, on that from Reddit the other day, and apparently the reason that, the, that NASA didn't use a pencil was because the graphite shavings in zero gravity float around, get into systems, which, and it's a pure oxygen environment, and start fucking O2 fires in space. Oh, wow. So, so we so and the guy who developed the pen spent a million of his own money, not federal money, to create this pen, and then the Russians switched to a similar pen very soon after. That so. is so interesting. I always knew that little stories like that are horseshit, but I never put in the three seconds of googling to figure out how. <laughs> <laughs>